A 10-year-old boy in Florida has become one of the youngest victims of the national opioid epidemic. Investigators say Alton Banks died last month after he came in contact with the powerful painkiller fentanyl. But how the fifth grader was exposed is still a mystery. Omar Villafranca is in Miami's Overton neighborhood where the boy lived. Omar, good morning. Good morning. Alton's mother described her son as a fun kid. He loved the Carolina Panthers and wanted to be an engineer. But here in Overtown, detectives are just trying to find out how he came in contact with a deadly mix of fentanyl and heroin. Alton Banks' final day seemed to be a carefree one, summer vacation playing at the community pool. But when the 10-year-old got home, he started throwing up. His mother later found him unresponsive in his room and called 911. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. Toxicologists found the powerful painkiller fentanyl in his system. We don't know where he got it. We don't believe at this point it was in his home. Catherine Fernandez Rundle is the Miami-Dade state attorney. She says Alton likely came in contact with the drug at the pool or on his walk home. To think that this scourge, this synthetic drug, has hit our streets and now is going to be killing our innocent children. His neighborhood is one of the many communities ravaged by opioids. In South Florida alone, an overdose occurs every two hours. Just how powerful is the drug? The tiny specks in this vial are enough to be lethal. The thought of was cocaine. Ohio police this officer Chris pure... Green suffered an accidental overdose from street fentanyl in May following a drug bust. He was hospitalized and survived. This drug has no mercy on it. It doesn't care who you are. It, it, you're dead. Dr. And Parham Eftakeri is a nephrologist effects. in Florida's Broward yeah. County. Right, he says you. fentanyl can be absorbed in the body as easily as making contact with the skin. This is just touching, breathing, being around, smoking around. And this is what makes it so scary. The medical examiner's office says last year in the Miami area, there were nearly 300 overdose deaths involving different forms of fentanyl. But drug dealers have been put on notice. There's a Florida law that goes into effect coming up in October that would allow drug dealers to be charged with murder if they're caught dealing a fatal dose of fentanyl or any drug mixed with fentanyl. Charlie? Thanks, Omar.